What's up dudes, this is update video number 22. All right, so this past week, JC was down in Texas visiting our new niece, Holly. I'm an uncle now, so that's kind of exciting, right? And usually while she's away, I say to myself, okay, I'm gonna work as hard as I can and get a ton of stuff done, and it never quite goes that way. <laughs> Especially now that I'm working from home and I don't have a lot of uh, other people interaction, I depend on JC a lot for company. And really that's great because who better to hang out with than your wife? But um, when she's away, I get kind of lonely. I end up sitting on the computer waiting for people to show up to play Overwatch with and I don't get as much done as I want to. But that being said, I did make a little bit of progress. I got one of those children book pitches together, and that's cool. Here's a little image from it. But yeah, really this week, I kind of realized how much I depend on JC, and so I thought it'd be fun to have a little story time. So way back in 2002, I started college at the Savannah College of Art and Design on the very first day, I think before school even started, moving into my dorm room, I was carrying my giant TV. This is back before all TVs were flat. <laughs> uh, I was carrying my giant TV into my dorm room and I almost knocked this lady over. I apologize and I heard a, a little laugh coming from the stairs that I was walking past and I looked up and there she was. You know, I don't really, I don't know about love at first sight or anything like that, but I don't really know another way to describe it. I was, I was stunned. I could tell just by looking at her, hearing her laugh that she was something really special and I hope that doesn't sound creepy you know she she ended up living right above me in the dorms so um, every once in a while I would see her walk in front of my dorm on her way to class or the cafeteria or something a few weeks maybe a month even later after class one day I saw a friend of my roommates outside talking to her while everyone was waiting for the bus back to the dorms I was never a very outgoing uh, person. I'm st still not a very outgoing person, but I knew that this was my, my chance. And so I, I went up and said hello, and we ended up talking the whole way back to the dorms on the bus. Every day after that, we rode the bus back together, and I guess the rest is history. Here we are, what? Almost 14 years later, we have the best life together, and I, I can't imagine my life without her. She is the most special, wonderful person in the world, in my life, anywhere, in the universe. <laughs> JC and I are actually going to New York in a couple of days to hang out with some friends, have a little vacation, but I will have another fun little update video for you next week. And then hopefully we'll see maybe some New York adventures soon after that. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the comments and stuff on the last video. All the encouragement and everything means a lot. I'm working hard, getting stuff done, and things are going really good. So hope you guys have an awesome, productive week, and I'll catch you later.